In this video, we're going to solve the equation in parentheses x minus 5 times x plus 2, and that section is in parentheses as well. So when we see two parentheses that are next to each other, we know that there's multiplication going on between them. Okay. So how can we solve this equation when it's equal to 0? Well, one thing we want to take note is if this part, this side of the equation, this, not side, this section of it, the first one here, if this whole thing equals 0, then we multiply it by this, and that equals zero, right? Because any number or anything multiplied by zero is equal to zero, we then have a solution. As well as this side, because if this side here, the x plus two, if that whole thing equals zero, we multiply it by the left-hand side, then it's gonna be zero, because zero times anything is zero. So our goal is to see is when does this equal zero, and this side equals zero. So to do that, we set both sides equal to zero. All right, so if we have x minus 5 equals 0 here and x plus 2 equals 0, we have two separate equations that we want to solve the final, final answer here. Well, this one here, we have to add a 5 to both sides, right? And we're left with x equals a positive 5. On the right-hand side, we subtract a 2 to both sides, and we're left with x equals negative 2. So now we have two answers for our solution. x is equal to negative 2 and 5. These are two solutions for the equation above. So if we want to check our work really quickly, if I plug in, let's say, negative 2 in for x, what do we get? Well, negative 2 minus 5 times negative 2 plus 2 equals 0. And what I like to do is any times I substitute something in for x, I put a parenthesis, and that lets me know that I'm substituting something in for x. It's kind of a little reminder for myself, okay? Uh, we have negative 2 minus 5. Well, that equals, this is our check, by the way. <clears throat> negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. Times negative 2 plus a positive 2 is a 0 equals 0. And we know that negative 7 times 0 is, in fact, 0. We are good. They're the same on both sides. And, well, we can do the other one if, we, if you want to. It's the same, th same idea, but let me just put a little line here. Um, our equation we have, well, let's go plug in a 5 minus 5 times 5 plus 2, and that equals 0, all right? So 5 minus 5, oh, okay, that is a 0 times 5 plus 2 is 7 equals 0. 0 times 7 is 0. Our equation is true, and we've checked our work. So our answer here is that x equals negative 2 and 5, and both of these are solutions to the equation that's up above up here.